Hi everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember, you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today we're going to take a look at just a gorgeous 1971 Plymouth Roadrunner. This is a very rare factory V-code car, guys. One of 109 built. Uh, actually, you know quite a bit of history on this car, guys. I actually sold it eight years ago. Uh, it's a 10-year-old rotisserie restoration, and I can tell you there's not a ton of miles on this car. Matter of fact, about five years ago, I do know that they pulled the motor back out and went back through the motor. Uh, but great car. Uh, I actually just took it in on trade. Um, but like I say, it was I, I bought it locally here about eight years ago. It was restored by a local builder. Uh, beautiful car, very nice, nicely done. I can tell you, uh, we've seen it at the shows. Uh, the guy that we sold it to just constantly took trophies with it, and it's a real car, real, real car. Sorry, guys, it's freezing cold out here. It's uh, documented by Dave Wise. We do have those docks for the car. Factory EV2 Hemi Orange car. Uh, and it is a factory Air N96 air grabber hood car. Um, again, they only built 109 of these things. They're extremely rare. And then I wonder how many they built actually with the air grabber hood. So very limited production car. That's the one thing I love about Mopars. Um, they just didn't build a lot of these things. I apologize, guys. You're going to see some little sprinkles or a little uh, dust of snow. But this is a beautiful car. You can see it's got new bumpers. Again, 10 years ago, it was a complete nut and bolt rotisserie restoration, and it has been very well maintained since, guys. That air grabber hood option is very rare. Probably my favorite option on these cars. I think that's so cool. You can see the stainless, the glass is very nice, the paint on the car is beautiful. got the black roof striping this is a good looking car there's not a whole lot I can really pick on it guys this car is really slick you can see a little scratch in the bumper and if you've watched my videos I'll tell you you can find something wrong with every one of them I've literally owned over 5,000 cars. I've never seen a perfect one. But this is nice. Got the Goodyear Eagles all the way around it. Factory 15-inch rally wheels. You can see it's got the machine gun tips. It's got the blacked out bumpers there, which is exactly the way they're supposed to be. This is a gorgeous car. Love this car. See how nice that car is. And like I say, when you look at the bottom, the bottom's just as nice as the top. Bunch of new stuff coming, guys. We're really struggling just with the weather. We're going to try to knock some stuff out today. Unfortunately, this time of year, Mother Nature just doesn't cooperate with us as well as we'd like, like her to. And this is a highly optioned car. Um, again, factory air grabber hood, factory uh, power front disc brakes, power steering, tack engages, uh, hood mount turn signals. But slick, slick car. Now, this is not a matching numbers car. It is a factory correct V code. It has a 71 date coded block in it, but it's not a numbers car, guys. It does have the uh, correct six pack and uh, uh, carbs. Uh, again, power steering, uh, power front disc brakes. It's got the stock exhaust manifolds. Um, they have converted it to electronic ignition. Detailed up very nice. It's got the Mopar radiator with the shroud. The functional air grabber, which does work. There's your fender tag. You can see the EV2 and the N96. Perfect. Everything on this car except for the radio worked, wasn't it? And I think the only thing that we did we'd seen that didn't work was the radio. And you can see just how nice this car is. And the bottom looks just like that.
Sorry guys, just trying to clear some of that snow. Paint on this car is really slick. Pretty, pretty car, guys. Door handles are nice. Got the chrome driver's mirror. New door rubbers. Ah, oops. It's got the stock black vinyl interior, remote mirror. New sill plates. Bucket seats. Council slapstick automatic. Looks like it's got all the correct seat belts as the snow just keeps on coming down. Uh, it's showing 41,000. I'm sure that's 141, guys. Tack and gauge car. Factory AM radio, which like I say, that was the one thing we know that's not working. It's got dual exhaust. It's an eight and three quarter, uh, three two three sure grip rear end. So it's definitely driver friendly. Uh, it does have the original quarters as we'll show you in here. Ah. Okay, you can see the original insulation on the quarters. Um, it's body color in the trunk like it should be. This is all your uh, wise information and, and some kind of miscellaneous receipts on the car. Factory jack was fair. See how nice it is. The fit and finish is very nice on this car. And then look at this thing underneath. Body color underneath. Flowmaster duels. Nice, nice car. Dash is nice. Gauges look good. Have Jay fired up. That door handle showing a little wear there. Ah, dog on snow. That's a just super cool option, man. Love that on these cars. Tack works, gauges up there. Do I hear the radio on? It, it comes on, but it just, I don't know. Does it get a station? Yeah, don't get a okay. station. It, it's got power. Though. Okay, gauges are working. I'm working a little bit. So we do have power to the radio, it, but it, nothing. Power, but nothing. Engages to work. We know the blower motor works, guys. Wipers are functional. Sorry about the snow in the picture. Again, make sure you keep track of our inventory, guys. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Another great way to keep in touch with us is through Facebook. Or as always, pick up the phone, give my guys a call. Call Jason, call Leroy. You can do that at 248 
620-3355. Have a great day, guys.